All right, so today I wanted to show you some of the different adventures I took in 2021 at Kansas. Um, I didn't get full videos on these, so I thought I would just throw together some snippets, some video, some photographs of, that I took uh, during 2021, and I hope you enjoy them. While these aren't in any order in which I went, uh, one of the first places I went was Echo Cliff Park near Dover, Kansas. Uh, I went out there, hadn't been out there for a long time, thought I would check it out. Uh, it was actually more beautiful than I remember. I really enjoyed uh, stopping by there. We didn't catch any fish. Uh, this was late fall. And so as you can see, all the trees have already lost all their leaves and the uh, water was very clear, uh, especially for Kansas. And uh, I think I'll try to go back out next year, maybe take the kayak, uh, do a little bit more fishing. Something I really like to do is just travel and see the different sites, stopping off in the middle of nowhere. And if you like that too, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you got any questions about any of the places I'm gonna go over, you can drop them in the comment and I'll answer them as I come across them. So these are some of the abandoned buildings in Bushong, Kansas. Uh, it's kind of a ghost town and uh, kind of some old buildings if you like seeing that abandoned buildings. Uh, this was in Council Grove, it's called Hermit's Cave. While the cave itself wasn't too exciting, uh, the history behind it was. Um, you can stop here and read all of this if you'd like. Um, but still pretty neat and a good story behind it. Uh, if you're in Council Grove, I definitely think it's worth a stop. Uh, earlier in the year, in 2021, we went out to Jesse James Cave. It's uh, south of Pomona, Kansas. Took some back roads to get there, which is, you know, most of the adventure. Uh, it is uh, south of Pomona, Kansas. And it is on private property, so if you're gonna stop and check it out, um, there's a little red gate you'll have to go through and it walks right down to it. Uh, another place we went was the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve. It's west of Emporia. It is a national preserve, federal state park. It is, uh, it's got a lot of hiking trails and it's got uh, buffalo out there, tall grass. Um, I really suggest it if you like that kind of thing. Um, make sure you wear your good walking shoes. I believe there's about 15 miles of hiking. I'm going to have to go back in the spring when it's a lot uh, greener. And uh, as you can see, a herd of buffalo over there. So uh, if you like to do that, uh, I would highly suggest it. And if you're like me and marking places off the national parks, I would recommend this place. Well, on yet another trip, we stopped by out in western Kansas by the Garden of Eden in Lucas, Kansas, near Wilson Lake. And uh, this was actually created by uh, an artist uh, many years ago. And uh, it was a really neat. We didn't go get to go in that day because it was closed. But I'll try it again next year. I was really pleased with how beautiful Wilson Lake, Kansas is. and. I would like to uh, definitely go back there next year, uh, maybe camp, kayak, and uh, they've got some really nice bike trails, some of the best in Kansas. So if you like mountain biking or hiking, um, you'll see them here shortly in the next clip.
Can't wait to get back out here to Wilson Lake again next year uh, for 2022. I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna do some more footage. Uh, definitely going to get some of the hiking trails and some of the kayaking and the fishing there. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think you will too. Um, it does get pretty windy out there in the summer in the flatlands of Kansas. So make sure you uh, be safe out there. One of the places that really surprised me was Little Jerusalem Badlands State Park near Scott City, Kansas. Uh, fun little hiking trails out there um, near the border of Colorado and Kansas. I would definitely recommend it. And if you are out there, I would recommend taking the back road south to Scott City State Park. And it's a really beautiful drive. Now this one here is just some roads less traveled up in Northeast Kansas and uh, got off on a beating path uh, to uh, go out and uh, have some adventure. We were looking for a good fishing spot, um, some of the nice places to fish in Kansas. It's one thing I'm always chasing is the next big fish, uh, something I really like to do. It's one of my favorite things. And uh, you know, when you go out and you drive and you find, you just find some of those beautiful Kansas sunsets, the beautiful scenic Kansas, and you can always catch that big bass. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks a lot for watching.